Hey, I'm Dan, and this is Dan's Planes. Today we have this ginormous crate, which has my Sky Shark P40 and my ESM 80 inch Zero ARF. I bought those from Brian Taylor at Tailored Warbirds. He and Paul created this up for me, did an awesome job, like usual. Want to give a thank you to the shipping carrier T Force for getting that crate into my trailer. And then a thank you to my neighbor and his friend who were able to pull it out of the trailer and put it in here in the garage for me. It's really kind of them. This thing is uh, 80 some inches long, two feet tall, and I want to say 48 inches wide, four feet. So let's tear into this bad boy. I just want to show on these wings the attention to detail for every contingency. They put pipe insulation here so the top wouldn't come down, or if it did, at least it would stop before it hit the wings. They put pipe insulation around the wing tips, and besides the rubber band bungees that I've now removed, um, they've got bubble wrap and tape taping it to the sides so between the bungees and the tape this is not going to move during shipment that's for sure they used multiple rubber bands just in case one or two broke let's see this is perfect they made the box just long enough for the wings so outstanding job brian all right underneath the wings we've got bubble wrap to protect the wing bottoms and protect the ESM Zero ARF that's in the box below. So let's remove the bubble wrap and remove the fuselage. All right, the fuselage is out. Now we've got to remove the Zero. And the challenge is the bottom of the zero box is glued to the actual floor of the crate and the top of the zero box is taped around the bottom edges so I can't just lift the top off and take the parts out so I've broken that away I'm going to have to unscrew and break this away, if possible. And maybe, maybe I don't even have to mess with that. What I'm probably going to do is go around the very top edges um, with a razor so I can take the top off. And once I flip that top off, then I can pull the parts out. Don't know if I'll be able to salvage the box, but I can always do this plane, put it together um, more immediately in the queue. I was going to do a couple other planes before it, but um, probably get the P40 set up with my own radio and get it running and then uh, work on the Zero. So let's get the zero parts out. All right, getting the top off was pretty easy. Just cutting through the tape because it had already been cut off and then re-taped with clear tape versus the fiber reinforced paper tape that was originally on it. That would have been a little bit tougher to cut through. But this was repacked by Brian after... He took everything out and inspected it for me before I decided to buy it. And as usual, he did a fantastic job. So, now get all this packaging out of here and go put the plane in my house. Let the cats sniff it for a while. All right, here's the Zero Unpacked. Getting its quality check by Princess the Mechanic and Goliath, the technician. 
She's looking good. Look at that. Mm -mm. I always wanted the white gray zero, but somehow ended up with a couple green ones. So it'll be nice to have the one I've always wanted. And Sierra Retrax and uh, Warbirds Pilot and a cockpit kit and a nice spinner. Where's that spinner? Wheel wells. Here's the spinner. Beautiful. This thing is nice. That's the cockpit kit. And the drop tank or bomb. I think that'd be a drop tank. So, here are the original wheels, which I think I can use my wheels from my other Zero. I think those are aluminum. All right, kids, what do you think? Gonna say goodbye, princess? Good girl. Goodbye. Well, hello. All right, goodbye then. Here we are with the unboxing done and preliminary setup of Jerry's Magpie. Jerry is my mother's name and Magpie with the European Magpie, it's very colorful, it was a consideration for a band name or some kind of album art for when I'm writing my music. She glistens so majestically. That vinyl was just done perfectly around this shark mouth. All of these concave and convex curves having no wrinkles or bubbles whatsoever. Just a beautiful job. Very, very happy with how that turned out. Have some stout gear, rubber tires with aluminum rims. You see the scissors on that gear. I mean, it's almost as thick as my pinky. It's crazy stout, which is fantastic. All right, let's do a bottom view. So here's the underside view. She feels heavier than I expected. I need to get a weight on it next. A couple things to note with the retractable tail wheel. This is the motor kill switch. I'm going to redo that with an electric kill switch just in case the plane gets away from you and you need to kill the engine or if you're just coming in way too fast on a runway that you just can't seem to slow down. There's a air fill for the pneumatic retracts. Again, looking at this stout, really stout gear. Beautiful Sierra gear. And then a custom muffler. Those are the exit ports.
All in all, she is a beautiful bird. I just want to do a quick inside look. And also I forgot to point out the features of the guns that they have in there. It's a nice touch. Screw, faux panel lines. Nice organized wire and pneumatic structure. Pneumatics plug in to here. This is well done, nice and organized, nice clean installation. Got a little bit of touch up to do on the silver. Yes, warbirds should look dirty and, and with scuffs and things, but they're in some spots that I'd just like to touch up. After he sprayed the silver and looks like he went over it with like a steel wool to create a bunch of those fine lines. Um, what's not done is a clear coat. So I do notice that the silver rubs off a little bit and we did a fuel test and it rubbed off with fuel. So I definitely have to clear coat it, but I'm going to paint the red and blue stripes on the rudder that was common on the earlier models of the Curtis P40. So this isn't going to be a a entrant for any shows or anything so I'm not worried about making it perfectly scale so I took the mouth and the Japanese kills and the tail number from one airplane and then I made up the name of my own then I took the stars and bars from another airplane and then I'm taking the red, white, blue rudder from another plane. So it's a hodgepodge, but it's going to look cool. And I'm planning, I think, to make the nose cone red because, you know, you just got to have a red with a shark's mouth. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Dan from Dan's Planes. I just want to share some content about RC planes, something I've been passionate about since childhood. I'm hoping I can teach something to someone, I can start some discussion and learn some things from others. So let's just have some fun and learn some things together. If you enjoyed what you watched, it would really help me out if you could like, subscribe, and share. And if you feel that it helped you out in some way, or it might help future viewers, I'd really appreciate it if you'd visit my Patreon page and become a patron. It's like throwing a dollar tip into a guitar case when you pass by. It helps to, to fund future content and future projects that I'll be working on. I plan to show some past content. I have some other flights and I have some fly-in events that I've been to. And I also plan to show future flights and future repairs as well as building ARFs, and if I can ever get back to it, building my Top Flight uh, Spitfire. So there's a lot of content to come, but it's, it's viewers like you that are able to support what I'm doing, and by doing that, I'm able to spend more time creating that content in the future. So I'd really appreciate it. But either way, thanks for watching, and thanks for any support, and I wish you blue skies and good speed.